Hello everyone. In today's video we will outline the key structural features of typical prokaryotic cells and then we'll compare and contrast the prokaryotic cell with the eukaryotic cells and uh, finally we will outline the key features of viruses and of course some past paper questions as well. There are two fundamental different types of cells, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Pro means before and karyote means nucleus. So the name itself implies the major difference between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell. So prokaryotic means before nucleus cell. There are two major differences. Prokaryotic cells do not have any nucleus. Secondly, prokaryotic cells do not have membrane-covered organelles. So the main DNA, which is in circular form, is not enclosed with a nucleus in prokaryotic cells. And also there is no compartmentalization in prokaryotic cells. But who are these prokaryotes? Remember the five kingdom classification at IGCSC level? Well, in AT level, we, we will upgrade it to a uh, six kingdom, three domain classification system. Kingdom Monera and Protoctista, Fungi, Plants, Animals. Among these five kingdoms, the kingdom Monera are the only prokaryotic ones. Bacteria make up this kingdom. Protoctista. Back there are the common typical example of the prokaryotic organisms. How big are the prokaryotes? Generally, most bacteria are within the range of 1 to 5 micrometer in diameter. Well, this is something newly added to the syllabus. Let me show you an early question which contradicts this information. Here is a question from 2010. A prokaryote streptococcus bacterium and that is the size given in the question. Look at that. So this x sugar makes 0.75 micrometer which is actually smaller than one micrometer or here is another question what's the diameter of a typical prokaryote such as streptococcus check out the answer options so they're all 7.5 and this question we're looking for something close to one micrometer or something between one to five micrometer b would be the correct answer having 0 0.75 micrometer. And here is how it appears in the latest syllabus. Unicellular, one to five micrometer in diameter. Well, Cambridge update itself every year, so you have to keep yourself updated as well. All the prokaryotic cells, all the bacteria have a cell wall, but unlike the plant cell wall, this cell is made up of peptidoglycan layer. All the bacteria have a circular DNA, which is naked. Remember, they don't have nucleus, so it's naked in the cytoplasm. All the bacteria have 70S ribosome. Ribosomes are the sites of protein synthesis, so it's essential for all the cells to have ribosomes. But it's 80S ribosome, slightly larger ribosome in eukaryotic cells. Remember that the 70S ribosome is also found in the mitochondria and in the chloroplasts of the eukaryotic cells. So let's briefly talk about the features of the prokaryotic cells, the bacteria. So on the right side, you can see the structures that is common in all bacteria. So all the bacteria have circular DNA, which is free in the cytoplasm. So there's cytoplasm, which is common to all types of cells. The cell membrane and a cell wall but unlike the plant cell wall unlike the fungal cell wall the bacteria cell wall has peptidoglycan and the ribosomes but 70s ribosome on the left side you can see the structures that are present in some bacteria not in all of them starting from if from the flagellum flagellum is long tail like structure used for movement for locomotion usually it's either one or uh, several flagella not many and some bacteria may also be covered by an additional uh, layer for protection called as a capsule since the bacteria do not have any compartments called organelles to carry out unique functions very important chemical reactions such as photosynthesis in photosynthetic bacteria or respiration they're carried out by the enzymes that are embedded on the inner foldings of the membrane so these infoldings of the membrane present in the prokaryotic cells called as a mesosome. Well, some bacteria may also have an additional and an extra small circle of DNA called as a plasmid, which is a very important tool used in biotechnology we'll see in another chapter. Some bacteria also might have short but many uh, attachments called as pili, which they use the pili to attach the surfaces and even uh, some type of pili called the sex pilus is used in conjugation of the bacteria forming a bridge through which the plasmid is 
uh, transferred from one bacterium to another. Here is a table from the textbook comparing the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. I need you to pay attention to the average diameter of prokaryotes. It's written 0 0.5 to 5 micrometers. So the textbook actually made an uh, update to itself, even though it's written 1 to 5 micrometer in the syllabus. You can now pause the video and go over the table yourself. In these videos, the information given is strictly limited by the A-level syllabus. Well, at AS Biology, we just repeat the exact same level of information that you learn in IGCAC Biology about viruses. It's been difficult to define what viruses are really are. Even the AS Biology textbook uh, avoids defining the viruses. Well, Cambridge simply refers them as non-cellular structures. There has been long discussions whether the viruses are alive or non-living. Viruses are not considered living things. It's because they don't fit into the parameters how we define a living thing. Remember the cell theory. All living things are made up of one or more than one cells. Well, viruses do not have a cellular structure. So what do viruses have? Viruses simply have a genetic material, either DNA or RNA, but never both of them. This genetic material is covered by a protein code called as capsid. So capsid, in fact, is made up of protein pieces called as the capsomere pieces. That's all. So there's no cytoplasm, no uh, enzymes, no nothing, no chemical reaction. So nothing basically goes on within the virus. Remember the seven life processes in ICSC? like movement, respiration, growth, sensitivity, excretion, nutrition. Viruses cannot carry out any of these. There's no respiration going on within the virus. No excretion, no nutrition. So basically, since viruses do not have a cellular structure and do not show all the, the life processes that all living cells show, we cannot call them as living thing. And that's all you need to know about viruses for AS Biology. Okay, let's check out some past people questions. Which stock is present in cells of eukaryotes but not present in the cells of prokaryotes? So which stock is found only in the eukaryotes? Seventh S ribosome is found in the prokaryotes as well. Mesosome is found in prokaryotes. Plasma is found in prokaryotes. Chromatin, remember, is the DNA plus histone proteins. This is very important to know. There is no histone protein in prokaryotic DNA. In 1985, a giant bacterium was discovered. Which cell structures would be present in this bacterium, enabling biologists to classify this organism as prokaryotic? So we are looking for a key feature of prokaryotes. Cellulose cell wall? Well, there is a cell wall, but not cellulose cell wall. A paracentriole? No, that's an organelle, membrane-covered organelle, not in prokaryotes. Circular DNA? Free in cytoplasm? Yes, but to be sure, let's check out the other answer. Smooth endoplasmic which is a membrane-covered organelle, not found. So the answer is C. What identifies a cell as a prokaryote? A. The DNA is associated with protein. This protein is histone. No. In eukaryotes only. The DNA is in circular form. Yes. The DNA is in the form of a double spiral. No. The DNA is surrounded by a membrane system, which means a nucleus, no. So the answer is B. Which combination is found in a prokaryotic cell? Use the method of elimination. Prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus and no membrane-covered organelle. So A and B are off, and prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus, so D is also off. The answer is C. What are the characteristics of a prokaryotic cell? Well, you may develop your own method. But I prefer method of elimination, and I start from the one that I'm very sure of, such as the endoplasmic reticulum. So the prokaryotic cells do not have any membrane-covered organelles in the reticulum. So the ones are present are eliminated already. So it's either A or C, and the DNA I, I know that is circular, not linear. So the correct answer is A. What are always present in prokaryote cells? Well, capsules are found only in some bacteria, flagella in some bacteria, pila in some bacteria, and ribosomes are found in all bacteria. That's all for this video.